Okay, this is the second part of the review. Uh, this is for the actual 10 games that come with the unit. I'm just going to turn it on now. Okay, so these are all the games you get. I'll run through them quickly. Magic Diamond. As you can see, your standard uh, Tetris claim here. Okay, enough of that. Next one, block out. Standard copy of the uh, breakout claim. Nothing too exciting there. Ball clash. Sounds painful. This is oh, it just looks like dodgeball to me. Paint Master. If you ever use any of those family clones that like I mentioned before, um, this game tends to be known as Milk and Nuts. And as far as I'm aware, you've just got to paint the road. Don't know why you, anyone would think a game about painting the road would be fun, but I don't know, what can you say? Dual Master. So your standard uh, Columns claim. Columns is the game that came out in the arcades and on the Sega systems. Objective, objective is just to get three in a row. I don't know what it is with games from the Far East, but they're obsessed with Easter Island statues. Hard win. As you can guess already, it's just a case of getting the right colour in. Although the D-pad doesn't really work that well with this one. get the idea. Elfland. I thought I've worked out is your ghost and you can only get enemies of the same colour. Tell the music's pretty much the same as the music you hear on the, the menu screen when you first turn the unit on. Now for some reason I've got a black face, so I don't know, maybe I'm a racist ghost. Okay, now I'm red. Mr. Onion. The main character here looks uh, a lot like Tiki from uh, the New Zealand story. Then if you remember that, it used to be an old platformer game made by Tato back in the 80s. Again, standard old school platformer. Collect keys, 
get all the keys, rescue the in cage, next level, blah blah blah. Space castle. Okay, first of all there is no castle and it doesn't appear to be set in space. But as you can probably gather from this it's a uh, Space Invaders claim. And last is a game called Push the Box. As you can probably guess, push the box into those three little dots and you complete the level. I can't be bothered with the rest of it. Okay, now's probably a good time to describe how the control is. Uh, the corners of the D-pad are kind of slightly raised. Um, it can cause a bit of problems when you play some games if it's if it's absolutely crucial to you know hit your left when you want to go left and right when you want to go right. It's not really the best D-pad to have. I have played with worse ones, but I don't know. I guess it does the job. Uh, the rest of the buttons are okay, and that's it. RQ Max 10 in one. Don't know why it's called RQ Max. It's not like you really need to be a brain surgeon to play them. And coming up next will be reviews for uh, the two separate cartridges.